Well, I mean, each country has its own flavor of racism. So when it comes to, and exclusion. So when it comes to advice, I guess I can only give the most general advice because racisms are very specific. Uh, but that the first is that, in the words of Steve Biko, you should write what you like. Uh, there is, I've noticed in Britain, a desire, particularly among younger writers, to project what they think other people will think about them if they do a certain thing, if they write about race or if they don't write about race or if they write about Africa or they don't write about Africa. Write about what you're passionate about. If that's race, write about that. If it's soccer, write about that. If it's fashion, write about that. Nobody's going to thank you for uh, engaging in things you're not interested in because you think that's what they want. And, you know, once again, Steve Biko said uh, the greatest tool the most in the hand of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. So do what you've got to do. Uh, similarly with uh, activism, and this goes to journalism as well, don't get hung up on being taken seriously. That comes later. That um, if you have something to say, say it. Uh, if you have something to do, do it. That the issue of being taken seriously is not in your gift. Uh, and people will take you seriously when the things that you have to say resonate with others. And therefore, um, uh, you have to say what you've got to say and do what you've got to do. And um, not be overly self-conscious about how you're going to be perceived because nobody got anywhere with that. Take your leader, take your black leader, take your anti-colonial leader, take your feminist leader or your gay leader. They didn't start out thinking, what's the thing that's going to get me on television, that's going to get me respected, that's going to... They started with, what do we need to do? What do we need to say? And then the final point I would make, and it relates, and one might argue contradicts that, is be strategic. It would be wonderful, this is what I tell young writers, I've been writing for 23, 24 years. It would be lovely, I'm 48 now, when I'm 70 odd, to know that you're still around. So, in order to still be around, you can't fight every fight. You can't take on every organization, you can't. So be strategic about what you can do, about what you can achieve, about where you know you want to be. And, um, um, and that, I think for a lot, particularly younger people, means um, be conscious about how you use social media, uh, be, um, uh, be aware which is different from being taken seriously, but nonetheless, be strategic. It would be great to know that you're going to be around in 23 or 24 years. And just as I've seen movements emerge, burn brightly and then fade, I've seen very powerful, very um, engaged voices burn brightly and then burn out. And they've burnt out because in a way that wasn't true when I was coming through, there are any number of platforms, there are any number of ways, things you can do, uh, and there are any number of enemies you can take on. And before you know it, you're worn out. And if you're not worn out, then you are rubbed out. So be strategic.